So um, I really don't appreciate the fact that it did not come with battery because now I have to sit down and charge it when I just want to open it and get started. So uh, Apple, we need to talk. <laughs> guys what is poppin today i am going to be unboxing the apple watch series 3 apple watch in space gray i honestly can't even contain my <laughs> i can't even contain my excitement right now and i kind of just want to open it up so let's just go straight into the video okay so starting off you may be wondering why is there a bow on your apple watch or you may already know that it is a present but my sister actually got this for me for my graduation present and I just want to give a quick shout out to Ika and my brother-in-law and my six-month-old nephew. Well, now he's eight months, but <laughs> I want to give a shout out to you guys for getting me the Apple Watch. I'm so excited to open it and um, thank you for this present. So yeah, that's why there's a bow on it and let's start unboxing it and then we're going to get into the setup and then we're going to talk about if it is worth it in 2019. All right, so I'm about to get real comfy so I can open this baby up. All right, we're about to start. So I'm taking off the bow. Sorry, Ika, you made a beautiful bow, but time to open it. <laughs> Here it is, the Apple Watch Series 3. It comes in this box, nice and protective. I enjoy. And then it has this protective plastic on top. So I'm just going to take a scissor and cut on the edge. I'm not really sure where I should do that because I don't. Oh, I think I should do it right here because I don't want to mess up the box. Oh, let's do some quick ASMR. <sighs> Did you hear that? And here is the watch! All right, so I'm about to open the box. Oh, it slides out like this. Sorry, oh, maybe I should do it like this so you guys could see better. I'm opening it up. It says, designed by Apple in California. I actually really like this, like, box setup. I think I may keep it on display. <laughs> so then you take this little slip thing off. It says, designed by Apple in California. And here is the watch! I'm so excited. It's so beautiful. Oh, well, there that goes. About to open it up. I actually love this size. Oh, by the way, sorry, I didn't give any details. I got the Apple Watch Series 3 in... Hold on, it says it on the box somewhere. Did I lose it? Okay, it's the Apple Watch Series 3 38mm space, space grade aluminum black sport GPS watch. That's the watch I got. I actually love the size i think it's perfect for my wrist because i do have kind of a small wrist so i think the 38 mm is the perfect size for me and i i really appreciate the plastic covering it i think it's really nice and protective it's already pretty protected in the box but this kind of just gives you more assurance i know the iphones come with that too but the iphones are kind of just i don't know i don't think it's as nice as plastic as this is this has i feel like it's thicker it's nicer i don't know so i'm just opening that up and here is the beautiful watch! Okay, so now I'm going to see what's under... Oh wait, I think that is a watch box. So I think I have to take this out. And this is where I believe the charger is. Oh, and they give you an extra band, which is great if you need it to be a little bigger. And you have the charger in here. Okay, so here is the charger for the watch. Um, unfortunately, this does not come out with a box. So thanks Apple, as I'm not already less on boxes, but I feel like it's actually, it's not that bad because you could use the same box that you use for your phone, for your Apple watch. I mean, unless you're trying to charge both at the same time, that'll be a problem, but it does not come with a box, but it does come with the charger, of course, and the watch. And I find the extra watch band very helpful. So now, let's get into opening the watch. 
Okay, so I believe this is the button to power it on. So I'm about to power it on right now. I'm just pressing on the button on the side. Pretty sure that's how you do it. Maybe it's this button. Let's try. I'll try both and see which one works. Um, just so you know, I don't know how to work an Apple Watch. I've never had one. This is my first time. So this is really coming from no experience point of view, just so you know. Okay. I think I saw it turn on, but... Oh, it needs to be charged? What? Okay, Apple. Thanks for giving me an Apple Watch without even charging it. BRB. I'm going to come back with the watch charged. Okay, so starting off with the um, setup process, basically it says to keep your phone near your watch, which I have my phone right here, so I'm about to do that. So I'm opening up my phone. My phone is near it. <laughs> oh, it says over here, Apple Watch, use your iPhone to set up this Apple Watch. I'm going to press continue. Put your Apple Watch and hold it up to the camera. That's exactly what I'm doing. Get the whole thing. Exactly what I'm doing. All right, I'm just gonna pair the Apple Watch manually because, um, so I press the I because it wasn't working when I was using the viewfinder. So, it's, so you have to press the I, which I did, and now it says Apple Watch 648648, so I just did that. Enter the six digit code displayed on your Apple Watch, okay. Okay, so that, well, let me put my brightness up so you guys can see better. It's just verifying it. Set up Apple Watch, wrist preference, definitely my left. Loading, and you see the same thing on your phone and on the watch. Now it is connecting. It says I may take a moment. Oh, okay. I agree, whoever reads that stuff anyway. Apple basically has the same terms and conditions for literally their phones, watches, headphones, everything. Signing into my account. Okay. Okay, so it finally signed in and now it's saying workout route tracking. So I'm going to enable that. Uh, watch analytics. Uh, um, I think that's a little weird. I'd rather not. Okay, that's okay, I guess. I'll create a passcode real quick. Okay, so that's done. Um, I'll set up activity. Oh shoot, this is gonna take long. You have to fill in all these things. Okay, so now it says daily move goal. Uh, set a cal- okay. Um, I guess that's fine. Okay, continue, that's fine. Set it up later. Okay, that's fine, I know how to do that. Install available app. Eh, that's okay. I, I can do that later. Apple Watch is almost ready. It is now syncing. Okay, that's cool. Okay, so now I got a notification that says your Apple ID and phone number are now being used for iMessage on a new Apple Watch. I'm gonna say okay. That's okay. That's fine. Okay, it still says your Apple Watch is almost ready, I guess. Okay, so while that's doing its thing, I guess I'm just gonna play around with the display and stuff. So... I guess you just click display, tap to, oh, this is just telling me how to work it. Okay, so that's cool that it tells you how to work it right before you actually use it. I definitely do need this, so I'm glad that they do this. Okay, so that only took 20 million years, which I don't really appreciate at all. Thanks, Apple. <laughs> that was a very long waiting game, just gonna say. So it says, welcome to the Apple Watch app, it has all the stuff, okay. Miriam's Apple Watch. Okay, so we're ready to go. I think that's what it is. So this is your Apple Watch. It's on the store and over here, this is where you can pick how you want to set it up and all the stuff you could do and you can pick the backgrounds and all that type of stuff. So I'm just going to do that on my own because it's pretty simple. You could just, you know, pick whichever one you want. So I'm going to pick it up and finish all that and then I'll be back to talk about my thoughts and if I think it is still worth it in 2019. All right, hey Isha, say hello to the camera. Hi everyone. Okay, so this is my cousin. She's had the Apple Watch for a while and she has no idea that I'm asking her this question. So whatever she's going to say to you guys is going to be her honest opinion. Isha, do you think the Apple Watch Series 3 is worth it in 2019? Yeah. What do you like the most about it? I like that it's 
pictures with your phone and your phone is on your hand. So you think it's really <laughs> you think it's really fun and really easy and good to rely on? I think that it's very reliable just because like if you're an Apple fan, like it's just very convenient for you. Yeah. And other like you know, it's not as expensive as people would think. It's a good investment when it comes to like having your phone beside it. Yeah, it's a good investment if you need it. Uh, yeah, how I long mean, have you had it? Your phone more. How long have uh, you had it? This would be a year and a half now. A year and a half? <laughs> okay, I said she had it for a couple months, but we're talking experience here, so she's really giving you her best opinion right now. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, thank you, Isha. You guys want to know something funny. My cousin just told me that the only reason why she actually picked up my call when I first called, because she usually. She's not the best when it comes to picking up calls, but the only reason why she got to pick up my call after only a couple rings was because she had her Apple Watch on her, so when she got the call, it was- Oh, see, the background changed. See, I was telling you guys. So, um, that's what she told me. That's the only reason why she picked up the phone call was because it was on her wrist. So if you are a busy person like that, then this Apple Watch is definitely for you. I'm about to put it on my wrist right now. Oh, Wow, I like it. And I like the snug fit too. And I think it, I think just aesthetically, it's pretty pleasing. Like, if you just wear this watch in your hand, like I've seen so many people wear it and I actually do think it looks really nice. Like, it's pretty aesthetically pleasing. Like, it's, it's cute. And the flower, I love that whole thing. I feel like I love this Apple Watch more because I just got it. So that's that. But my cousin has had it for a year and she loves it. So I feel like if she says that it's worth it in 2019, my final conclusion is also that it is worth it in 2019. Especially if you're active, especially if you're busy, especially if you don't have that much time. And that's like most of, you know, the world. We're all busy. So I definitely think this watch is perfect for that. And I had a great time unboxing it with you guys and doing the setup. I hope you guys had enjoyed this video. I think it's definitely also very comfortable. And if you're active, you know, I think it's a nice and snug fit. I think you have a pretty good chance of it not falling off. And I also think that it's good at keeping track at everything and it's nice. Um, there is an option to turn off the features if you don't want to know how many calories you're burning or resting calories and all that type of stuff because I know that stress- that gives me a lot of anxiety if I see all that stuff. I don't want to see all that. So I'm definitely going to turn that off because I don't want to know how many calories I, I'm fine. So you can definitely work around with the settings as I was saying. If you are someone who doesn't really have their phone around them, I would recommend the cellular and GPS watch. But if you don't, if you have your phone around with you most of the time, but you know, upstairs, downstairs, maybe if you're in the backyard, maybe if you're, I don't know, just like a little far and you only ever get that far from your phone, then this is definitely perfect for you. Also, Cellular, I believe, does add $10 per month onto your plan, so that is also something to look at. Not is it not only is it more expensive when you buy the actual watch, but it also adds $10 every month. So it kind of is, you know, a lot, I'd say, because those $10 can add up very quickly. And yeah, that's it with the Apple Watch. Uh, that is my full unboxing and setup slash is it worth it in 2019 and final conclusion and review. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'd also like to say thank you once again to my sister Ika and my brother-in-law for getting me this watch. I'm so obsessed with it and I can't wait to keep on using it. I know I know that in no shape or form was this a tech savvy type of review or any way technical literally at all, but it was a cool review, you know. If you're like me, this is this is a this is the type of video I'd watch too, because I would feel literally just like me. So if you're like me, I hope you enjoyed this video, and that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to see you soon in my next video. Bye.